Okay, this is a um, video on the video lesson on section 18.3. Um, we're going to talk about pH and pOH in this in this video. We're going to break the video up into two parts, and we're going to just do the first two objectives here: explain pH and pOH, and relate the pH and the pOH to the water product constant. We're going to do some calculations we're going to, in this video, but we're going to leave the more complicated ones for part two. Okay, so the main idea here is that pH and pOH are log rhythmic scales that express the concentration of the hydrogen ions, that's the pH, and the hydroxide ions in aqueous solutions. Okay, so we're going to explain all what that means here in the next few slides. Okay, so pure water, as we've said before, um, contains equal concentrations of hydrogen and hydroxide ions. And the ion product constant for water, they, it's got a, a symbol of Kw equals the concentration of both those things multiplied together, right? Because the water breaks up into these two ions. And the water product, ion product constant for water, the Kw, is the value of the equilibrium expression for the self-ionization of water, right? Water, some of the water molecules break up into H and OH molecules. Remember this hydronium is the same as H plus. Okay, so at um, 298K, that's room temperature, both the H plus and the OH are equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 7th. So if we put that number into the Kw expression, we get the Kw equals 1 times 10 to the negative 14. Now that's a pretty small number, but that's the water is, you know, not a lot of the water is broken up into hydrogen and OH ions. So it's a pretty small number. When we square it, essentially what we did here, we get that water product constant. Okay, so what this means is, we combine it with Le Chatelier's principle, means that this product of the H times the OH has to equal this number, 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. So as the hydrogen goes up, the OH must go down. And as the H goes down, the OH must go up. So this product here always equals this number. So when one goes up, the other goes down. Okay, so calculating the H plus or the OH and state whether the solution is acidic or neutral or basic. Okay, so we know that the product constant equals that. We know the product constant equals H plus times um, OH. So we know what H plus is, so we're going to take 10, 1 times 10 to the negative 14th and divide it by this to get to get what the OH concentration is. So what that looks like on your calculator, it'd be looking like this. You would do uh, 1 e to the negative 14th divided by, and then the H concentration, 1 second double e negative 13th. Okay, so it equals 0.1, which in scientific notation is what we have here. Okay, so you're just taking whatever the, the ion product constant is, that's 1 times 10 to the negative 14th, and dividing that, and whatever number they give you, dividing it by whatever number, the number we they gave you to get the other one. So if they gave us H, we take 1 times 10 to the negative 14th and divide it by the H concentration to get the OH. Same thing, if they gave us the OH, we would divide that to get the H, okay? Okay, so constant again. So if P, if OH is this, so 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by that, really when you divide with exponents, you're just subtracting. So negative 14 minus a negative 7 is like adding 7. So actually the X, the H plus concentration is going to be exactly the same. So this is a neutral um concentration, right? We have equal concentration of H and OH. Okay, so we have the H concentration at 4 times 10 to the negative fifth. Okay, so this is, you can't just subtract the exponents here. You actually have to do your calculator on this one. You have to take the water product constant divided by the H plus constant to get 
this, okay? So if we do that on the calculator, it would look like this. So one second double E negative 14 divided by four second double E negative five. Okay, so 2.5 times 10 to the negative 10th, that's what that means on the calculator. That's how it's written out there, okay? And we did this one already. Okay. Um, the concentrations of the, now we're going to talk about pH and pOH. Okay. So the concentrations of the H plus ions are often uh, small numbers, right, expressed in scientific notation. So instead of working, looking at all those the small numbers in scientific notation, uh, scientists have developed this um, pH scale to quickly tell the uh, concentration of the H plus in this case, pH is for the H plus. And we do that with a log scale. Okay, so the negative, we in the, and define the pH as the negative log of the hydrogen concentration. Okay, so it may be a while since you've had um, logs and, and remember how they work, but the logs, when we do the log function is the answer to, is an exponent. Okay, so when we just do a common log like this, it's 10 to what power equals this concentration. Okay, so let's explain that what I mean on this next slide here. So math log functions are used to answer problems like this. We have 25 equals 10 to the x. Okay, we want to find out what exponent 10 is raised to that equals 25. Now just thinking in our heads, we know that 10 to the first power is 10. 10 to the second power is 100, so x has got to be somewhere in between 1 and 2, right? 10 to the first power is, is 10, 10 to the second power is 100. So we have to figure out what that exponent. Now you can uh, check and guess, guess and check, I guess, and you know try to get one that's close, or you can use that's what the log functions are, go, are made for. So if we take the log of 25, Okay, so the logs, the common logs are, t makes a base of 10, right? 10 to what power? So if we take that in your calculator, you get 1.4. This means that 10 raised to the 1.4 power equals 25. Okay, so that's an approximation. It's not going to come out exactly the log, this exponent. You, know, you can make it longer and bigger to get exactly 25 to um, get that. So all those numbers on the log scale represent exponents, right? Every number on there is an exponent on the pH log scale. So in pH problems, we have concentrations with negative exponents for the H plus concentration, right? They're all small powers of 10, right? They have negative exponents. So in order to work with positive numbers, we put the pH is the negative log of that H concentration. Because if you take the log of a, of a um, number with a, negative exponents, you're going to get a negative answer, right? It has to be 10 to that negative power to equal that small number, right? So negative power is like dividing by 10. So we put the negative in front of it so we work with positive numbers. POH is the same way. We take the negative log of the OH concentration to figure that out. And the key f little fact here is that the pH and the POH added together equals 14. And that makes sense since the water product constant uh, exponent on there is negative 14. And we took these logs, we took the negative logs of these things. So normally, so it'd be, you know, the pH and the pOH, the exponents have to add up to 14. That's what we're saying here with this. So this is a little graphic here showing the uh, powers of 10 versus the um, pHs, right? So the powers of 10 are negative one, makes positive one, right? That These are what the logs are saying, okay, this exponent, you know, 10 to the negative 13th is that, right? And the same thing here on the OH scale. OH scale starts here and goes this way, right? It's the opposite of the pH scale. So really um, basic things have a low pOH, really acidic things have a low pH. Okay, so mostly we deal with pH, but in this chemistry class, we're going to deal with both of them. Okay, so 
Calculate the pH and pOH and state whether this, the solution is acidic, basic, or neutral. Okay, so on your calculators, what you need to do is take the negative log of this concentration. Okay, so if you do that, what would you do? So on your calculator, you're going to take a negative log and you're going to type in this number. Okay, so when you do that, you should get a pH of 4.4. Okay. Now, how do we get the, P, the pOH? Well, we know that the pH and the pOH add up to 14, so you just do 14 minus 9.6. I'll do an example here on the calculator. Run this on my calculator so you can see what I mean. So I take the negative log of this number, 4e negative 5. Okay. Okay, so I get about 4.4. Okay, that's what I put there. Okay, so to get the pOH, I do 14 minus that number. Okay, and it comes out to be 9.6. Okay, so is this acidic or is this basic? Well, if it has a low pH, if pH is less than 7, it's acidic. Okay, if its pH is more than 7, then it's basic. Okay. Okay, so another problem. So we got the H concentration here, 3 times 10 to the negative, 3.6 times 10 to the negative 9. So you take the negative log of that. Okay, so put that in your calculator, take the negative log of it, and you should get the negative log of that is 8.4. So 8.4 minus 5.6, that means it's basic, right? So 8, 14 minus 8.4 is 5.6. So this is pH is greater than 7. That means it's basic, or the pOH is less than 7. That's also a way you can tell if it's basic. Okay, so the OH, right? If they give work at the OH concentration, what we're going to figure out first is the, the negative log of this is going to give us the OH. Okay, so if we take the negative log of this, we get the pOH is 3.2. That means the pH is 14 minus 3.2 is 10.8. So that's going to be a basic solution. Okay, only if the pH is 7, only if these, these pH or the pOH come out to 7, that would be a neutral concentration. Okay, so going back the other way, right? If we have the pH or the pOH and we find out the question, want to find out what the concentration is, we're going to take, right, this is the common log, it's 10 to the, the pH and the pOHs were exponents. So to figure out what to get back to the concentration, you have to take 10 to the negative pH power. Same thing with pOH. You want to find the OH concentration. You take 10 to the negative pOH power. Okay. So it's just right, raising your 10 to the... Um, so if milk has a pH of 6.5, what's the concentration of hydrogen? What's the concentration of the OH? Okay. So you're going to take 10 to the negative 6.5 to get the H. And then the easiest way to do it is to take 10 to the, whatever, you know, the uh, 6.5 minus, uh, 14 minus 6.5 is 7.5 to get the OH concentration, right? Instead of doing, that's easier than I do it. You could also do the 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by whatever this concentration comes out to be. Okay, so you do that and you get that. Right to get the OH, you do 10 to the negative 7.5. Right, that's the easiest way, and you get the concentration of the OH. Okay, so those are the easiest ways to do that. Okay, ammonia, 9.11.9. Okay, so to get the pH, this is the pH, right? So if we take the 10 to that power, negative power, we get that concentration, and 10 to the negative um, 2.1 would give us the OH concentration. So check, stop the video and check and see if you can do this on your calculators. Okay, so we're going to stop the video here and we're going to do the rest of this um, in part two. So I'll see you guys in class tomorrow.